It's so sour. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a grocery store haul, a quite large one at that. Um, I just got back from Bristol Farms, so that is a fairly luxury brand uh, grocery store here in California. Um, I actually recently just started a part-time job there, so your girl gets 30% off, so might as well take advantage. I won't deny that after buying all of these, my shift that I worked today was basically for free. But you know what? I wanted to try all of these products and, you know, it's okay to splurge a little bit and, you know, reap the benefits of the discount that I'm getting at work. And, you know, maybe these are products that you've seen and that you want to try. And so I want to be that person for you. I might not try all of these on camera right this second, but hopefully before this video is posted, I might try some. I'll insert some clips here and there of me trying these different items. I might try some for you right on camera right now but in the meantime i just wanted to show you all the different products i bought today at bristol farms so first off we're going to start with produce so i'm a huge fan of fruit and i've always wanted to try all the different fruit all the different ones from different countries and different tropical areas and so these three fruits that you see right here i've never tried before now I'm definitely gonna cut these up later and insert some clips. Um, so first off, we have a pepino melon. I don't know quite the origin, but it's something that I don't see every day, so I wanted to try that. Next, we have this kiwano. I believe it's a melon. I'm not 100% sure. I, it's very spiky, and I, I think once you cut it open, it's green inside. I'll show you a clip if I see it. And then finally, we have this red cactus pear. I've never had a cactus pear. I think it's similar to dragon fruit, but I've yet to try it. So there's that. I am now filming a little cutaway of me eating the exotic fruit that I just showed you. So I'm currently cutting it up and <laughs> kind of curious on how to eat it. Um, so the prickly pear you just saw the um, red cactus pear looks like this on the inside, kind of similar to a pink dragon fruit. The pepino melon cuts up to kind of look like this, kind of looks like a mini, mini um, honeydew kind of. This one, I'm about to cut it open now. I'm a little scared. Let's see. Oh, it's juicy. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. It looks like an alien. That look nuts. Oh my gosh, all the seeds are coming out. Oh, it looks like 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 pumpkin guts. Oh. All right, I don't know which one I'm going to try first. Um I'm going to go for this one. Okay, I think I just scoop it. It's so sour. I would say it tastes like someone put lime juice on a cucumber. It doesn't taste bad, but it's very, very sour. <laughs> I feel like this could be good with cooking. Okay, next I'm going to try the prickly pear. It has a little bit of kiwano guts on it. Let's see. I feel like it's going to taste like dragon fruit, but I'm not sure see you're supposed to peel that back there's a lot of seeds I don't think they're edible hold on so I just had to spit out those seeds because they're not quite chewable um, like I tried to chew them like pomegranate seed. They don't chew through. Mm. Okay, both of those I would not buy again. Zero out of five. Zero out of five. Last but not least, we have the pepino melon. 
I'm quite excited for this one because it smells good and also I know like a lot of um, I think Mexican drinks they have cucumber and pepino melon and I'm a huge fan of those kind of drinks so this will be my first time trying the melon on its own It was so bitter. I had to spit it out. I just spit out like all of these. That was really disappointing. I don't know if I just picked one that wasn't good, but that was so bitter. <sighs> well, the, the, the produce portion of this taste test has been a bust. Yes. Back to your regular scheduled programming. We have a beautiful container of guacamole this is uh bristol farms house-made guacamole it's always so good because you know it's fresh and just delicious next up we have um some strive beef biltong so for those of you who don't know what biltong is biltong is air dried jerky and it's the the terminology comes from south africa so for me, I love beef jerky. It's a great way to get some extra protein in there without having carbs. It does ha tend to be a little bit high in sodium, but with these, they're not as tough as beef jerky. So since they're air dried, they're a little bit more tender. And I got them in three different flavors. I have teriyaki original and spicy peri peri. Now, I've never tried this particular brand before, but um, there's a couple other brands I've tried and I really, really like it. Just warning you, Biltong can be quite pricey. It's just, it's. I think it's just the, the quality of the meat and to air dry it does take a little more time and effort so it is, does cost a little bit more. Next up, we have some Dolcetto Tuscan Crisps in rosemary and olive oil. So the other day um, when I went to Bristol Farms for work, I brought back some truffle cheeses and Iberico cheeses and I didn't have the proper crackers at home. So I thought this would be a great addition to those cheese and crackers. Next up from their um, seafood department or their sushi department, I did get a half pound of salmon, spicy salmon poke. And I've been eating this every day for lunch. Um, it's so good. They just have it pre-seasoned and then they have it in the cooler section and it's so good. Next up, we have these Stee's Lightly Sweetened Ice Green Teas. I got one with coconut water and one with blueberry pomegranate. Now, I've had these before. I got them, I tried them at the National Products Convention a couple of years back. And these are just super, you know, lightly sweetened as it says, really light and refreshing. Next up, we have these Celsius energy drinks. Now, typically, I'm not one to drink energy drinks. They taste so chemically, so artificial, and I just wanted to give these three a try because I know a lot of people who love Celsius, and so I'm currently working two jobs, and plus also doing all these YouTube videos, so I wanted to see if these energy drinks would help keep me up and going throughout the day. So I got the Celsius Live Fit. I got it in sparkling Fuji apple pear and sparkling peach vibe, and then also a non-sparkling uh, peach mango green tea flavor. Next up, I also got some water crackers. This is the Bristol Farms brand water crackers. Just like the other crackers that I showed you before, I wanted something to go with my charcuterie cheese. Next up, we have these two milks. So one of them is banana and one of them is chocolate. This is the Rosa Brothers Company um, chocolate milk and banana milk. Never tried either one. I heard they're good. I just wanted to give it a try. In uh, Korean markets, banana milk is quite popular. So when I saw that they had it at Bristol Farms, I was like, I want to try that. So I got that. All right. I'm going to try this now. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. It doesn't taste like the Korean banana milk tastes more real banana flavor. This one, it tastes, it tastes like a banana Laffy Taffy. Yeah, I don't enjoy that. 
chocolate milk. Okay, this one is great. Five out of five. So this chocolate milk tastes like those fudgesicles you had in elementary school and if it melted and became chocolate milk. That's happiness. Yep, that is great. Love it. And then next up is going to be these Compartes Chocolatier chocolate bars. Now, these, the packaging is absolutely stunning. They are beautifully made. If you can see all the different colors there are here. And the flavors that they have are so unique and so fun. I won't deny they are very expensive. Um, but you know what? You only live once and it's fun to try new things. So the first one I got is Pink Elephants. So this one is dark chocolate and frosted cookies. So I'm assuming these are like those pink and white circus animal frosted crackers um, in the in dark chocolate, which I'm a fan of dark chocolate and I love those cookies. Look how pretty the packaging is on that. So pretty. Looks like that. The dark chocolate is quite bitter. I would say it's at least like 70%. The the cookies are good, you know, as you could buy them on your own. Personally, I would not buy this one again, um, just because you could literally buy a pack of dark chocolate and buy those cookies and eat them at the same time. It's the same exact thing and not costing $10 a bar. So, would not buy again. And then, Coney Island, I got this one for my brother. So it is milk chocolate with caramelized waffle cone. And look how pretty that is. Coney with the unicorn horns at the top. Mm. This one's very tasty. You can really taste the caramelized waffle cone, but I would say it's very sweet because it is milk chocolate and then you also have caramelized waffle cone on top of that. If I were a fan of sweet, I would buy this again. Next up is dipped strawberries. It's dark chocolate dipped strawberries, which can't go wrong with strawberries and chocolate. Look how pretty that one is. You can see dried pieces of strawberry. It's not bad, but I stand by my point with the frosted animal cookies one. It's the same thing you can buy dried or dehydrated strawberries and have a dark chocolate bar next to it and it would still be cheaper than this next up is also for my brother it is marshmallow crisp which is milk chocolate marshmallow and crisp rice that kind of sounds like a crunch bar to me look how gorgeous that blue and white marbling is not bad not the greatest the marshmallow is kind of hard to taste maybe i didn't have a big enough piece it is, once again, very sweet because it is milk chocolate. Personally, I, I usually like crunch bars, but the, the texture of this crispy rice is a little different. Not the biggest fan. I would say maybe a two and a half out of five for me. I personally wouldn't buy this again. And then last but not least, this one my brother and I are probably going to split, and it was highly recommended to me to my, by my coworker. Um, it is their chocolate chip cookies, so it's milk chocolate and chocolate chip cookies. And look at the fun little art there with the cookie at the bottom and the astronaut. So you can see chocolate chip cookie in there. Once again, way too sweet. I'm used to eating dark chocolate now. I would say it's still good if someone really likes milk chocolate and wants like a little bit of crispiness in it. This is great. Um, personally, I wouldn't buy it again. Moving on, we have Press Juicery's Green Juice Gummy Bears. So this may look like a juice bottle, but the inside is actually gummy bears. So the Green Juice Gummy Bear has uh, the different flavors that are in the green juice that Press Juicery has, and then it's just made into a gummy. So who doesn't like that? Back to drinks. This was something that I really wanted to try. Um, I saw it and I was like, ooh, that's pretty. And also it sounds like my type of tea. So it is a, well, it's not tea. 
It is the Belvoir Fruit Farms Organic Cucumber and Mint Lemonade Bubbling with Real Cucumbers. So I'm not sure if this is sparkling or not. It, yeah, it is. So it's carbonated spring water and then 100% organic pressed cucumber juice and lemon and mint. So look how pretty the packaging is on that. Wanted to try that one. Into savory snacks, I got a pack of classic cheddar popcorn, Bristol Farms brand, and it was two for five. So I got it in white cheddar jalapeno as well. Going back over here, we have a smoothie pack. So if you haven't seen my acai video, go check it out now. Um, so I'm a huge fan of coconut. So this uh, are fresh young coconut smoothie pack. So I was curious to see whether I put it in a bowl or in a smoothie. Um, it is fewer calories than mature brown coconuts, dairy free, no added sugar. So why not have like blend it up with some pineapples, have yourself a fresh pina colada. Sounds great to me. Last but not least, we have these Siete grain free tortilla chips. I have it in a hint of lime and in dairy free nacho cheese. So these are grain free and also corn free. So my brother for the guacamole that we just purchased, he is allergic to corn, unfortunately. So when he eats corn tortilla chips or anything with corn, he does get a rash and he, he his skin flares up. So he asked me to purchase um, some tortilla chips that did not have corn in them. So these are a great alternative. They are made with cassava flour and they also come in uh, different tortilla sizes, like, like actual tortilla if you wanted to make quesadillas. They also make their own salsa. I've tried their uh, Fuego flavor, which is like their spicy chip, and that one's really good as well. The texture's a bit different, but I'm definitely a huge fan of these. Um, if you're allergic to corn or you're trying to stay off like um, flour tortilla as well, I highly recommend these. So that just about wraps it up for today. Um, like I said, all the clips, if I decide to eat anything, will be put into the video. I'm sure you would have already seen them by now. And if you like what you saw, let me know. I can do more videos like this. Um, and I can tell you more about my different jobs. And yeah, just let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Get, hit the bell for the notifications when I post new videos. I post a new video every Monday and Thursday. Let me know what you want and I'll try my best to make it for you. All right, thank you and I'll see you in the next one.